Hello everyone, this is the Volkswagen ID Bus long wheelbase rear wheel drive and today we're gonna do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour because maybe 130 is a bit too fast for this on the highway or you're doing a mix between highway and country road and this is a very good test so you know your range. The cars are 86 kilowatt hour battery, um, rear wheel drive 210 kilowatt, that's 286 horsepower, it has 20 inch winter tires on, 235 in the front, 255 in the rear. We have a heat pump in this car, the car is gigantic. Um, I just did 130 kilometers an hour range test and now we're going to do this with 110. I'm doing a charging test right now and got get right now 205 kilowatt at 32 percent in the car it shows me a totally wrong number how long it will be to 80 percent and uh, what charging power I have right now I don't know why it's a software error that shouldn't be and I'm still getting the 500 amp now it went down under the 500 amp at 33 percent so I charge to 80 percent and then we go I am on my way again and this time we're driving 113 look at that I have the trip from since charging on as always first few kilometers are uphill first nine I think that's why consumption is enormous three degrees out there it just rained like crazy now it's already a bit better we'll see if it keeps raining I have my heat at 22 and a half degrees We'll see if it's too cold, I put it on 23, but just my side. I'm in auto and low airflow, seat heater on two. I'm still in drive mode comfort. Um, I don't know why. I don't think that eco, I don't want the heat to be reduced. I want it comfy. So, <clears throat> no changes. Yeah, I used the first 10%. Of course, this is not very accurate, but I thought a little in between. 23 kilometers driven and 33.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. It's still raining. Not strong though, but eh, I would prefer no rain. That would be better. I used 25% of the battery, drove 71 kilometers, that's full range of 284 kilometers. Consumption you can see underneath, 4.5 degrees, I haven't changed anything with the heat. All is good. I now have to calculate how far I go from 80 to 10% where I have to go off to see that. Cool, I turned around, going back to the charger. I should navigate to the charger, that's true. Um, what does it say? It thinks I arrive with 10%. That could be about right. Maybe a bit more. ID7 from Berlin. So, how is the bus at 110? And it's way quieter than 130. The wind noise is less, there's just a bit of tire noise, but of course that's with the wetness and the rain and everything. 
but really nice and comfortable. I like it. And I have my... I noticed uh, with the cruise control in the bus, the distance is a bit different. So this distance two is not very far. On a country road, I need distance three to start with. And here, when you have distance one on the highway, it doesn't break till you are very, really close. I like that. <laughs> That's my thing. I don't want to break until I have to, can go out and overtake. To drive so far is amazing. I have to pass a few times, but I never had to accelerate, I think. Not really. So maybe to 116 and 17, but not really fast. So cool. I used 50% of the battery, drove 141 kilometers. It's raining like crazy right now. So 282 kilometers of range. Consumption still around that number. Great average speed, five degrees out there. We have 59 kilometers to go. You can see that in the head-up display as well. It thinks I will arrive with 9% now. So, Maybe I'm arriving with a lower state of charge. This video is brought to you by A Better Route Planner, the route planner for EVs. Hundreds of cars are supported. Choose your configuration, plan your route with the charging network that you want to prefer or charging networks that you want to avoid. If you're a premium member, you can use real-time weather forecast and traffic information and you can also use A Better Route Planner in your car with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Use the link in the description to support the channel and use a Better Route Planner Premium for 30 days for free. I arrived with 8%, drove 200 kilometers. Google Maps, map, maps not Max, says 201 kilometers. 28.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer was my average consumption. So I calculated the range and get to 279 kilometers. It rained mostly sometimes even strong uh, luckily it's not raining right now um, and i'm going uh, to deckendorf now and do my power drive so drive the top speed of 160 for a while and see what the consumption is then and how the car feels when you drive this for longer and it should be raining there so we'll see <laughs> but i'm charging to 80 percent then i go there because it's 40 kilometers away and then i have to get home somehow um, but it was a great drive Range not amazing as expected. Hello, look at the car. It's a wall. You drive a wall against wind, of course, it's high consumption, even though the motor is efficient and the battery is big still. <laughs> if you want to compare range results from this car to other cars, there's a link in the description to a Google spreadsheet where all my range tests and my long distance trip tests are in there. If you want to follow me on Instagram, life one and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.